I have been making a lot of BL contents with different topics for quite a long time now but I think I have never done this kind of video before. Two days ago, I posted on my IG account on what questions do you want to ask to me and same thing on our YouTube community. Although I have answered some of the questions that you have asked on my IG, I'll be doing it again in this video together with the questions from the YouTube community. Please take note that if there's a sensitive question in this video, it's only my opinion and insights about it. If you also want to ask me any question about BL, don't hesitate to comment it down below. Anyway, if you live in a different country and some BL series are not available to yours, you can use ExpressVPN to watch those restricted series. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount and 3 months free if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. This question was asked on my IG account and although I have already said something about it, I want to share it also in this video. When we say queer baiting, it's a marketing technique used by people in the film industry hinting a probable same-sex relationship or other types of LGBTQ plus representation but in reality, they are not. This is done to get the attention of the people in our community. The industry of BL has been depicting gay relationships for so many years now and I think the trailers they have shown us were true to its content. The only thing that I can think that makes the BL industry a little bit queer baiting is when one or two of the characters do not acknowledge themselves as gays where in fact, they have a relationship with a man. I don't like men. I only like you in Thai BLs is something that makes me confused even today. Although I love Korean BLs because of the unusual plots, those shows have the tendency of queer baiting. Anyway, if you have your opinion about this, please share it on the comment section below. If you have been watching my videos before, you already know that I am a big fan of Sotters and Sotters S the series. But right now, my answer would be Cherry Magic. I really don't know why I became addicted to it, probably because of being a romantic comedy show. The plot is unusual for a BL and I want something like this again. This question was asked to me in Instagram and to be honest, it's a hard question. If we are talking about the BL industry, well, we can't say anything about it unless we experience the toxicity firsthand. If it's about the generality, then I would say that everything has a good and bad side of it. Just like in BL, there are healthy depictions of characters and there are also some that depict toxicity. Nothing is perfect in this world and definitely, nothing is pure. He's Coming To Me is one of my most favorite Thai BL shows and it will be hard to make a continuation of it because of supernatural elements of it. But if there would be a second season, I'd want to see Thun dies in it. Since Met is already dead, that's the only logical continuation of the story. Then there would be an epilogue scene where Met and Thun are being reincarnated again at the same time so they could have their proper love story. The one thing that I really want to stop right now in BLs is romanticizing non-consent scenes. There are a lot of ways to showcase romantic aspects of a love story, especially in BL, but not those non-consent scenes. Aside from that, I'm okay with the tropes and plots I'm seeing today in the current BLs, although some shows are quite repetitive when it comes to the story. But it also happens in other industries, not only in BLs so for me it's natural. There are actually two. The first BL that made me cry the most was Theory of Love. 
The reason why I became emotional watching this one was because I felt connected to the story. The whole plot was like my love story for my best friend but the only difference. Third got his happy ending with Kai. The pain of the show really got me crying. That's why even though a lot of people did not like this BL, we can't ignore that this kind of stories really do happen in real life, most especially to the members of LGBTQ+. The second one is I told Sunset about you. Well, it's not to question why this BL made me cry. It's obvious with the whole ambience of the show that it's a sad story. The songs being used were also sad. The whole story of Tae and O oh was sad, right from the beginning even until the ending. There are also other BLs that made me cry such as he's coming to me, until we meet again, and do the movie but those two really stood out. If we are talking about the BL that I recently finished watching, then that would be Nobleman Ryu's Wedding. It's the most recent Korean BL which focuses on three main characters on the Joseon dynasty. This BL is available to watch in the Wii TV app and website. If it's about the most recent BL that I have watched even if it's not finished yet, then that would be Fish Upon the Sky. That BL is really easy to watch because of the comedy elements throughout the whole show and it's now getting serious in the middle part of the series. The BLs that I plan on watching next are Beloved in House I Do which already started airing on Vicky in the Wii TV app today, Peach of Time which is a collaboration between two countries, Thailand and Korea. I previously announced on my latest video that the show is airing today but I was wrong. The last BL that I'm planning to watch next is I Promised You The Moon which will become available a week from now. There are a lot of BLs currently airing and upcoming so we would be busy these coming days. Me. This is a hard question because I'm not the type of fan who watches fan services contents, especially those meet and greet events. But if I were to base my answer on what I have seen on the social media, I would give it to Mew Golf and Bright Win. Most BL ships in the recent years are doing fan services in different ways so it's hard to judge who gave the best among them. In 2015 to 2019, there were only a handful of BL shows that you couldn't watch on the internet so it was easy to cope up with the releases. But during 2020 until today, the quantity of BL contents increased significantly to the point that it's hard to keep up with it. As a reviewer and a BL fan itself, the quantity is too much for me to keep up with everything. To be honest, there were some BLs that were released last year that I couldn't see even its trailer. The year 2021 is also taking it to the next level but I'm not complaining with it. As for the quality of these shows, there is no major difference between the earlier BL compared to the recent ones. Looks like the quality stayed the same in most shows. Since these BLs come from different productions, the quality is not affected due to the quantity. What change over the years is the expectation of the fans from these shows or productions. Although my current favorite is Cherry Magic like what I have mentioned earlier, since I became a Thai BL fan first rather than BL in general, then it would be Love by Chance. Love by Chance was the main reason why this channel was created in 2018. I know that there are a lot of good actors in the BL industry but if I'm going to pick, I would choose my favorites. These are Gunn and Christ. There's no denying that Gunn is one of the best Thai actors in the current generation. It's evident in some of his shows, especially in Theory of Love and even other Thai non-BL shows such as The Gifted and The Gifted Graduation. Next, Christ is also my choice because of how versatile he is as an actor. The last Thai show that I watched where he was one of the main actors was Who Are You? I think that would be third from Theory of Love. 
He is like me but in a different world. This question is actually the hardest in this lineup but to answer this, that would be fun in type. Although I love these characters, we are all aware of what they have been through in fun type the series. The frequent fight scenes were really hard to watch in the first season. Fortunately, it was toned down in season 2. Those are just some of the questions that I have been asked to answer so if you still want more, let me know it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.